Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at this Isobright slash Armor Light watch. Um, Isobright is uh, some type of military spec watches that are um, from Armor Light, and recently Armor Light took the Armor Light um, nomenclature off of here and just put Isobright on there. And I like it like that. It cleans up the dial. You don't have a lot of text. And this watch um, is is really about serious business, in my opinion. Um, I was I was uh, familiar with these watches, although I've never seen them. After I seen it and handled this one, and checked out the devastating loom, and I do mean devastating. Um, I really like this watch. Now this is a collection highlight, so this is my watch. I purchased this um, just to do this review. Um, after diving in deep to uh, uh, these watches, and this is a quality watch. These go for about $500. I know that's a lot for a Swiss quartz watch, but once you see what you're getting, um, you may change your mind. If, and if, you, if any of you guys own one of these, you will um, testify that this watch is worth every penny. They, they are really nice. Uh, before we get to the watch, let's check out the strap. This has a... Um, a silicone rubber strap it's really pliable really soft I don't like silicone that much because it does pick up lint but as far as um, being soft uh, there's no rival when it comes to these soft silicone um, straps they're really nice and um, this watch also has a signed uh, ISO bright uh, clasp and I like how it's devoid of any other armor light um, uh, name so I, I think that's pretty cool now Let's start off from the top and work our way to the bottom. You have a um, 60 click bezel that is one of the greatest filling bezels. Listen to this. Look at that. Zero back play. And I noticed that with these polycarbonate uh, slash um, carbon fiber or carbon fiber infused uh, polycarbonate cases and bezels that they are really positive ratcheting actions never no slip on these are the um luminoxes that's that's a really plus a really good plus now this has 200 uh meters of water resistance but it does not have a screw down crown it has a special double gasket sealing system uh similar to luminox uh so you don't have to worry about forgetting to screw that uh crown in you just push it in and you get your 200 meters of water resistance uh you get a date wheel down here at 430 that is uh, black, I like that, which has uh, white numerals. It's a pretty decent date wheel. And this uh, caliber inside here is a Swiss Ronda 715 LE. The LE is for lithium uh, ion technology. It takes a really big disc battery, and that lasts 10 years of consistent running. Now, there's a power save feature. If you pull the watch out to hack it, you will save 70% of power with this. So that means uh, um, in, in, in 10 years, only three years of battery uh, life would have drained from having it pulled. So this watch actually probably can go without even a battery change just if you pull the crown and not have it running uh, while you're not wearing it. So I, I think that's pretty cool. Now, you, did a, you did a, do get a carbon reinforced uh, case here. Uh, four screws to hold down the back, and you do get a gasket inside, and it does sell up to 200 meters of water resistance. Um, you get an anti-reflective sapphire crystal, and I'll show you that. That it is a sapphire. I'll show you with my tester. As you can see that, that tests sapphire. I'll do it again. See, it goes all the way up. So that is sapphire. And this is an anti-reflective uh, coating on the inside. Now, this dial is carbon fiber and that's red carbon fiber dial and that's pretty cool and you have a stadium style rehaul on here where the indices recess up into the rehaul i think that's pretty cool and another thing is that this um second hand hits all the indices that's really important to me when it comes to a quartz watch as you can see it's also swiss made and this has the flat tritium uh t100 twos and these are the um the, uh, what is this called? The Trija. Let me see on the back. I know it has it. Mm, you can see right here. 
the Trigilite H3 tubes. And these are some of the most superior uh, glow tubes I've ever seen. As a matter of fact, I've never seen any loom that can rival this. Any loom, period. Um, this is the best loom. Now, this is a T25 uh, tube up at the top. It's not as brightly lit as the other ones in the hands. But these flat uh, T100 tubes, dual uh, color, um, really is the business. You cannot do better than this when you want nighttime illumination um, constantly. This is the bee's knees. Look no further. Go to ISO right now and buy one of these. I will guarantee you will not be disappointed in the loom of this watch. It is actually fantastic. Now, um, this watch, like I said before, it has a uh, polycarbonated um, carbon fiber infused case. And um, this one is the Afterburner Red, 200 meters water resistance, uh, sapphire crystal. And it's really light. I can show you the weight of it on my scale. Um, let me turn the scale on. Zero it out. Seventy. Eighty one grams. That's what it is. Eighty one grams. So it is G Shock light, and this polycarbonated um, carbon fiber case is really tough. Sapphire anti reflective glass. You know, sapphire is the best in the business. Um, you do get a nice push pull crown that is unsigned, and then you get a, a steel case and a silicone uh, strap on here. And this watch is really nice. And let's look at the dimensions. This is a really legible watch. So this watch comes in at a 47. And the lug to lug on here is going to be about a 51. And I'll show you what it wears like on my wrist, which is 7.25. Now this watch isn't that small in dimension, but it's really light and thin. So I say it wears more like a 42. And that's what it looks like on my wrist. And it is extremely legible. And I'll show you guys what the loom shot is going to be like. This will always be visible. This is your transitioning loom. And you can see that 12 o'clock marker is in blue. And I'll go full dark. And believe me, when this thing, when your eyes adjust, this lights up great. There's very few tritium watches that I show on my channel that I don't need the help of um, a black light to show you. Now I can show you that with the black light. But as you can see, this one does not need it. It is superior to any form of loom, and that is a guarantee. So, like I said before, um, it does use those H3 Trigilite uh, technology, and you can look that up. And I'll leave a link for that, too, um, so you can look up the technology in this watch. But um, it is a great watch. Pick one of these up. It's the, You can get these at Screaming Deals. Um, I got this one at a good price. I'm going to keep it in my collection. I really like the grab-and-go aspect of it. I like the 10-year um, lithium-ion battery, uh, uh, Ronda 715 movement. It's just a winner. That's the watch once over for today. Enjoy your day. My name is Big E, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless, and I appreciate you for watching.